All right, now let's get in some of these chest lines. So first off with the shoulder blades, I'm gonna race both sides of these and I'm gonna put in these like hooks here and here. I'm gonna do a couple lines here. So I'm gonna do a V right here. I'm gonna do a diagonal right here. This diagonal is gonna go like this. Okay, and again, I'm just doing some light erasing to this. There we go. All right now, we're gonna put in a very subtle line going down the chest, a light line. It's kind of look like this. It's gonna go down to about this. It's like an S shape. So it's gonna curve, stop there, and it's gonna curve in the opposite direction. And this is gonna kind of be our indication of where our lines need to go from. So I'm gonna put a point from there and it's gonna come back in, back in, and then out in like an hourglass like that. That's probably the most difficult thing we've done so far. Raise the inside of that a little bit. Okay. Now, we're going to do a diagonal here and a diagonal here. You're going to do a point and a point. You're going to come down and double it and double it. Here, other line. Diagonal. And over here, we're going to keep this line going. We're going to go like that. And back up, in, out. And I know that's not easy. Again. Now, on the other side, I'm going to have starting to have trouble to do things. So I'm going to focus mostly on the left side right now. So I'm going to do this way. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go like this curve and we're going to go back up point in little line right there and we're going to go all the way out to the shoulder blade to fix this a little bit and this line is going to touch this one should look like that Not easy. And then over here, put this line right into the side of the chest. And again, we're gonna do a hook. Close that off. Okay. And then on the inside, you're gonna do a second one and a second one. And you're gonna do, you're actually gonna put in an M like a blocky M underneath. Let's see if I can show you this. Here we go. You kind of see it right there, the blocky M. Okay, and again, we're gonna erase some of this. All right, and erase. And we're gonna redraw in the sides of the chest just to make it look cleaner. Oh, we forgot the spider face right here. You guys are gonna go like this. And like this. And you're gonna give it a arrow point right there. Looks pretty good. All right. Let's go down the arm. Raise the inside, raise the inside. Redraw this in. Okay, let's get the points in. These aren't that, these aren't too, too bad to do. So we're gonna do like one like this. And we're gonna do a smaller one. And then at the elbow, you're gonna go like that. Now the hands, hands are hard. All right, so we're gonna do, you're gonna do an oval. And you're gonna do an oval, and an oval, and a point, and an oval, and a point. Now we're gonna kind of erase some of this just to make it so we can see it a little better. 
And again, I'm gonna trace around those fingers, trace around those fingers. And then when I get to this point, I'm gonna curve the opposite way. And I'm gonna give him one more and another one and another one. Two lines right here. Uh, shape right here. I'm gonna close off the, the nails with two lines. Okay, there's that arm. Let's go to the other arm. All right, so similar deal. We're gonna raise the inside. Okay, so we're gonna do an oval. And you're gonna do an oval. Oh, sorry, I can see, I see that a little bit better. We're gonna do an oval going this way, and one going this way. And very similar deal, we're gonna race. And you're gonna kind of draw in the curve again, and the fingertips kind of looks like this. Very similar to the other hand. Now the only difference on this one is you're seeing the fingers on the opposite side. So we're gonna do one, and we're gonna do two. We're not even gonna bother with the other one. That's just back there, okay? We're gonna do a curve and a curve, right? And then the um, the arm spikes, one, two, from the elbow, three. All right, draw it all in, make it all clean. that fix this arm thing a little bit there we go. See, there we go. all right legs the thing about the legs is there's not much there's not much to these we're gonna just kind of erase a bunch of stuff don't need this don't need this don't need this don't need this Okay, now I'm gonna trace around the outside part of the leg, just so I get a good trace here, going around here, and a little bit of a leg line there, a little bit of a knee line there, the front, there we go. All right, so on the feet, we're gonna do a doubling on the feet, there, here, one and two. We're gonna do a V. And a V. All right. Oh my God, there's so much of it. Looks good. All right, so next step, we're gonna take a ruler. And we're gonna put in the slightest hint of a building line right there. Looks like he's on the side of a building. And lastly, we are going to put in some of his cape, which is super cool looking. We're gonna do an S shape or an S shape. We're gonna make it all like tattered. Okay, and we're gonna do some more lines and some more of these S shapes. Just gonna keep doing these S shapes various sizes and then I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna do little uh, like curves in various directions You'll notice I'm varying the curvature and the direction I'm putting them in make it look like webbing go there's spider-man 2099 okay so at this point you're going to photograph this you're going to upload it to classroom it's going to count for a grade if you have any questions 
you're going to email me. Hopefully you did it with me in class and there's gonna be a bunch more steps that we're doing with this. Uh, probably even coloring it maybe, but you don't have to if you're doing this analog. You could totally leave it uh, black and white. Thanks for watching.